Listen, I don't want to talk about the Gary Kasparov stuff again. Because I am not a 2800 ELO Andy. I'm not a super GM. But I did get served some more tweets about it today on the algorithm. And I saw some people saying stuff like, if you just copy every move that Gary Kasparov does, and then like it should only take you 50 to 100 games or something like that. And I'm like, you don't... There's a danger to being too smart to know how dumb you are. We've talked about it so many times in the Punnett Square of like smartness and dumbness, and it changes for every domain. They might be an incredible physicist, but just not that good at chess. Sean is okay. The Sean tweet, I disagree with it, but they, they stated their case. Some of the people in the replies that are like, I don't see why people would say it would take like a decade. I think it would only take like a hundred games. I'm like, you know, there's people that are already good at chess that would lose 100 games straight to Gary Kasparov. Like, if you're 2,300 and Gary Kasparov is like, he's over 2,800, he's probably going to beat you 100 times in a row or not lose to you at least 100 times in a row. He's going to draw with you occasionally. It's not the same game, though. But it's not the same game! Because after you... It's probably going to take you eight moves to come up with the ideal response to whatever Gary Kasparov played. And then you finally do it. And then he does another move. And it's going to take you like eight games to come up with the best. But then it gets like fractally more complicated as time goes on. Because you might think like, oh, he took my knight on this move. I'm not going to make that move instead. You simply like you, you might have got yourself into an inferior position like four moves ago. So now it takes you... 10 years just to realize that the move you've been focusing on is not even the move where you started to slip down the mountain, bro. You started to slip down the mountain on move seven and now you're on move 11. Like, oh, I'll just stop him from checkmating me and then I'll like, you know, Jeet couldn't do him. I'm just saying. I'm, I think, me personally, I think people are underestimating the difficulty for, for an average chess player. You're smart, dumb smart. Honestly, that's where I aspire to be. Being an insane genius doesn't really seem like that rewarding. And I've been dumb smart, which is where you're, you think you're smart because you got like good grades in middle school, but that has led you to actually like have blind spots that have made you dumb. But now I like to think that I'm smart, dumb smart, which is like I say the smartest things that I can think of. And then I just say, but I'm pretty dumb afterwards. And then people plus to it. I kind of look at intelligence. It's a bit like humor. Like sometimes people are like, NL, you're really funny. And I'm like, no disrespect. I, that's very nice to hear. But do you not realize that actually like the funniest person you will ever meet is like a 38 year old HVAC technician that you meet at a party one time and he's got like 11 DUIs. Like he's, that, that's the funniest person on the planet. A friend of your friend that you've never met before, but he like texts you and says, hey, is it okay if I bring somebody? And then you're like, sure, why not? And then he brings him. That's going to be the funniest motherfucker you ever meet in your entire life. It's not going to be me. It's not going to be a stand-up comedian. It's going to be some 43-year-old mover or something like that who has no concept of what the internet is. And every line is just going to be blowing up, bro. That's just you from the timeline you had a real job in. Nah, me, me in the timeline where the world doesn't end in 2012, I'm definitely like a mid-level white collar office worker, not rocking the boat to the extent that I could like get a promotion, but stable in like a, a mediocre career with like limited upside potential which is why I'm not willing to go back and fix the timeline. I like it better this way. Still Pelotoning? No, I'd probably be on an Amazon Basics if I had to guess, but not, there's nothing wrong with that. Pretty sure comics are good at being funny on command, which is why people pay them to do it. Mm, I think I, I take issue with that. Because really, like, stand-up comedians? Where's the craft in that? Go on stage for two years, bomb 700 times, it's like that classic uh, bit about the M&Ms, you know, where you squeeze every M&M and then like the one that survives, you uh, let it go up against the next pack of M&Ms. Like every time a stand-up comedian bombs in a set, there's one good joke. They cut out that joke, polish it, takes three years. They come up with, eventually they get 
41 minutes worth of jokes. And it doesn't even count because the last joke is always like a seven minute story. Like, did you see the tweet about when Gay City was trending? And then uh, the, the tweet was like Dave Chappelle getting serious at the end of his eighth Netflix special. My friend got beaten up for refusing to twerk in Gay City. He fucking died. <laughs> oh, man. It's so true, too. I mean, not the story that's obviously made up. That, there you go. Dave Chappelle getting serious 50 minutes into a special. My friend got jumped in Gay City for refusing to twerk. He fucking died. <laughs> oh, man. That's humor, man. That's a barista right there that tweeted that. That's not Neil Brennan. No disrespect to Neil Brennan, okay? I'm only a third of the way into the new special. I'm just saying. Hey, Anel, do you think Twitch clips have ruined streaming the same way hit singles have ruined music? Are you traveling here from 1931? Did Mac the Knife just come out? What's, what do you mean the way hit singles ruin music? I meant like Spotify streaming? I don't think anything's ruined anything, really. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just answering your question. I'm not trying to be rude by disagreeing with you. Still good music out there. Don't, don't be one of those guys, okay? You're 22, just guessing. And you're like, oh, music was better when I was 14 when everybody was listening to shit on Groove Shark instead. You see the, I mean, there's the like old cuneiform tablets and shit that were like, you know, the kids these days don't respect the gods anymore and they don't even help me like grind the fucking wheat in the meal anymore and shit like that. Like, so we've been doing this as on every trip around the sun forever. But one of them got me laughing today when I saw, um, it was like an art and it was like from the middle ages and it said thus pastly or whatever. And it was like a hand reading a book. And then it was like thus presently and it was uh, a hand playing with a deck of cards and smoking and drinking. And that shit was from like 1100 AD, which is fucking funny, bro. It really is the same thing every time, huh? So <laughs> images that go insanely hard. I think it's all good. You know what? I was thinking about it this morning. It's not this poster's fault, and I must admit before I say this, I'm guilty of this every day, on stream especially. The poster made a, a post on Twitter, and it was like, I, my roommate's, my supposedly straight roommate's grinder notification just went off, and he's freaking out trying to explain it. And I think that's a perfectly funny situation. That the poster is just the straw that broke the camel's back. I hope in 10 years it becomes perceived as cringe to sell out people that are in your community in real life that you see every day, you spend quality time with and you bond to get the approval of strangers on the internet. And I'm guilty of it more than the average person without a doubt. But I'm starting to look at it almost like this, it's like a little pathetic, right? To be 35 years old and be like, you'll never guess what my in-laws did this weekend. I'm like, those motherfuckers changed the sheets so I got someplace clean to sleep when I'm over, bro. So what I'm going to start to do instead is I'm going to sell you motherfuckers out to my in-laws, okay? I'm going to say, you won't believe what this idiot said to me on the internet the other day. And I'm going to paint you in like a fucking horrible light. And we're going to bond over that. It's going to become like an inside joke for two decades. That's so much worse. Wrong, bitch. I break bread with these people. I don't know you from, what do they say in, in religious? I don't know you from Job. I don't know you from, what, it, from Adam? I'm going insane over the Kasparov hypothetical. People are saying it would only take them 50 to 100 games. That's why I literally verbatim, that's what I said at the start of the stream. But rather than be mad at you for restating it, I'm glad because I feel seen. When someone said it would only take me 50 games to beat Gary Kasparov, I'm like, brother, there's like grandmasters out there that already are grandmasters that can't beat Gary Kasparov in 50 games. You actually think you have an, as like a 400 ELO player, you think you have an advantage over a grandmaster just because you get to play quote unquote the same game every day. 
so-called determinist motherfuckers when Gary Kasparov is actually a human supercomputer and he changes his moves based on you changing your moves. <gasps> Anyway, sorry, sorry. It just, I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just saying it gives off the same vibe when people are like, it would only take 50 to 100 games. It gives off the same vibe to me as Elon Musk saying, you know, a simple eight by eight grid, symmetrical position, no fog of war, et cetera, et cetera. Optimistically, I'm like a 1500, which actually online at least puts me in, I don't know, like the top 10% of chess players. It would take me, I think, and I could be wrong, it would take me like at least decades. It might be one decade, it might be nine decades, but I think it's even longer than that. Really? Yeah, you only get 350-ish attempts a year. How many times would I have to play a 2800 bot to beat them? I don't know, a lot. 1,500 online is worse than IRL. Hey, excuse me, at age 13, I had a 1,750 perf rating in, a, uh, in an open level tournament in my hometown. I won $60 and bought Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. What was your finish? I don't know. I think I was three and a half out of five. I can't remember. I think I got like $30 for coming in second in the youth division and like $30 for coming in fifth in like under 1,800 or something like that. And I was like, man, as long as I just play in one chess tournament every day for the rest of my life and match my personal best forever, this could be the worst fucking job of all time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro, is your ass when, you know, for the first 3,000 games, Gary Kasparov hits you with E4 and then like all of a sudden he just feels like playing like the fucking Queen's Gambit decline the next day or something like that just because he woke up one minute earlier than he usually does and like that fucking butterfly effect caused him to try something different. It's the same outcome every day. Nah, man, you don't know. You don't know. Sometimes you're like, I, even chess.com, I'm like, I play E4 opening every time. Sometimes fucking one, the, the magnetism of one electron gets flipped the other way and I'm like, guess what, bitch, C4. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's Party All The Time by Eddie Murphy, 20 year remix. Okay, obviously we're gonna need more than this. Unless it's I've got a feeling. Sorry, I got a feeling. Oh yeah, dance, it's, it's the yeah, yeah, yes. Off with head, heads will roll. That's, what do you mean day five of five? Are you kidding? That's a popular song, bro. I know that one. Heads will roll, heads will roll, heads will roll. Listen, I'm not a yeah, yeah, yes, Andy, post um, fever to tell. I'm more of, a, yeah, I'll still rock out the maps, but I'm more of like a Y control type guy. And you got the audacity to say hit singles ruin music. This shit's got 90 million views, bro. It was playing alongside Beachcomber by Real Estate. Oh, play the voice? Okay, here you go. something to it. Not, I, I prefer the original, but there's something to it. I think it's simple. There's, there's a heuristic for Bandle. If the song is good, the cover will be worse. If the song is ass, the cover will be fire. I still kind of can't believe I've never missed a Bandle. <laughs> that's like, that's kind of good. That's like your aunt's Wordle streak. I'm like, oh really? You got a 500 streak in Wordle? Well, I have 104 consecutive bandle hits. Even fucking the never ending, even the never ending story, bitch. Because I had heard it on the Peloton on a Sam Yo 80s video store ride 18 months prior and just in my head, the never ending story. 
Na 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 na. What's your Duolingo streak? Crazy that you've got a 1200 day Duolingo streak. I have a zero day streak and neither of us fucking knows how to speak Spanish. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm more of a Rosetta Stone, Andy. The boy is on the airplane. The boy is on the air. The girl is on the airplane. An airplane. A boy. A girl. An airplane is on the airplane. A flower. A flower with wings, like an airplane. The way that they sold us Rosetta Stone back in the day was basically they told us that it was um, magic. They were like, don't waste your time learning a language the old-fashioned way. This 97-year-old polyglot still learns languages the old-fashioned way. They were like, we have invented with cognitive neuroscientists. We've invented a magic formula. If you just see enough photos of a boy next to an airplane, boom, three months, you're speaking fluent Korean. We don't know how to, it's magic, bro. This is bad. Anytime you see regions, this is bad. And these are the ones that we had earlier, which is like earlier in this week, which is even worse. Okay, I, they, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to ask what regions they are. I'm going to try to do it sight on scene. Let me tell you something. Electric Sino. Mm, manectric. Hoenn Electric. Mm, manectric. That's how we do it. It's called process of elimination. Dark Sino. Gibble. No. Tyra no, we did that. This Tyranitar, just because he can learn bite doesn't mean he's a dark type, right? Mm, on the other hand, Tyranitar. Tyranitar. No, okay. Um, you know what? He's a refrigerator. He's a dragon. Reggie Drago. That's an electric dragon in this house, okay? Hmm, dark dragon. Bahamut Zero. Oh, sorry, you don't know Kino. Electric, electric from Sinnoh. How about Riolu? No, nope, I'm thinking of a different guy. I'm thinking of a little mouse. Kind of looks like this, but he's got like little... Oh, his name is Denene. Dedene. Dedene. Pikachu's cousin Dedene. Does not count, okay? Um, I'm thinking of... Uh, I'm thinking of an electric Pokemon called Luxray. Yes! <laughs> Two. Okay, can we get to the 33%? That's a pass in Canada if the teacher doesn't want to ever see you again. Um, um, the dark Pokemon from the Sinnoh region that you want. This is a dragon, bro. Dark Rye must be a dragon. Dark Rye? Not a dragon. Confirm, not a dragon. Okay. You were you had it? What, he's from the Oh, he is he is the middle square. He's the damn uh what's the center square on Hollywood Squares? Whoopi Goldberg? Why am I asking you if I don't know it like fucking do I think any like fifty two year old ants are in here? It is Whoopi, okay. Wow, imagine typing Electric, bro, when instead you could have typed Manectric. I always thought Electric, I, I guess now I'm getting it. I thought he looked like a motorcycle. Of course, Rotom Heat. I do love Probo Pass. Raging Bolt just got back from the damn vet. Gotta get him the donut so he don't bite his damn stitches, man. Oh, who's, who's a proud Electric Dragon? Who's a... Don't... Condescend to me, trainer. Our plans are measured in centuries. Yeah, okay, buddy. Just don't fucking bite your stitches, okay? They'll open up and all your guts will come out. P, brown, green. Head, things you get on the toilet. <laughs> Connections is easy today. Okay, I'm not going to let it mind flood me then. I'm not going to let it mind flood me. Head director, chief, and chair. The leader of a group. Hazel, green, brown. This is the red herring. It's not going to be eye color. Grounds, lawn, field, and green. 
where bowls take place. Isle of Dogs, Isle of Fiction, Isle of Brown, Brown Hazel, hmm, Witch Hazel, Witch Chest, Django, Unchained, Unchained, ah, oh, whoa, 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 Reservoir Dogs, Jackie Brown, Django Unchained, Pulp Fiction, the second word in Quentin Tarantino movies, P, Chest, Hazel, Coco. I don't know. What do I care? We got it. Words before nut. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna hazel. This is what you fucking sound like. This doesn't make any sense. New York Times puzzle maker about the climax. Uh, 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 oh, fucking stop doing that shit. I'm gonna Coco. <laughs> oh, man. Stop doing that shit. I'm going to pee. <laughs> seedless, five pounds of seedless lemons. I'm just going to say it. Lemons may be the, the fruit that you only need one of the most. I buy lemons now and then. But I guess actually, to be honest with you, I buy lemons never. I buy lemon all the time. Cocktails for a party. It's 2024, brother. Everybody's just taking, you know, two edibles and then watching Netflix in the group chat. Nobody's getting together anymore. There's no third places. It's got to be cheap. There's no lemons have to be cheap unless you're buying one of them. Four ninety nine dollar a pound. It's fucking seven ninety nine. You won't catch me paying seven ninety nine. I'd rather pay five bucks for one lemon. <laughs> that makes no sense. Because I just need like one lemon anyway. And then I'm going to have to fucking throw the rest into the organics bin, which is going to cost me one organics bin bag, which is like 85 cents. Those things don't grow on trees. Samoa. It, has there ever been a worse guess in the history of global? It's... I, Again, I, I ask this now and then. What's the circumference of the earth? Is the circumference of the earth like 32,530 kilometers? <laughs> Could we actually get... Is it possible to engineer a guess that's further away than this? The space station might actually be closer. <laughs> Wait, how high up is the, is the ISS? You might be right. At least at a, at a snapshot in time... We may... Oh, it's 120 kilometers up. Never mind. Still, this, the, it turns out the ISS is still further away. Okay. So all it is is almost as distant from Samoa as you can get, which means it's Namibia. 6,000. Easy. Slovakia. Warmer... Croatia. He's it, it's better than yesterday, bro, and I didn't even know where I was on the first guess. You said 120 is more than 32,000. It is if we're talking about 120 millions of things. You a fool, 32,000 is bigger than 120. Oh yeah. I didn't tell you it's 120 billion dollars and now you don't get any of it didn't you learn in math class your teachers are you're, you're always like eight minus six equals two and then your teacher is like two what and you're like oh, fucking two apples you raise your gpa by one point with this simple trick <laughs> just add apples at the end of every single math problem you ever do <laughs> two what Two fucking reading the entire word problem again. Two fucking cars. You got me. That's Alabama. <laughs> it's Togo. Uh, it's one of it's Togo or Ghana or Cam okay, it's Ghana or Cameroon. Benin? 
Benin to you as well. Um, Shane on season one of The Walking Dead, when he wants to play GeoGuessr with Carl. We need to ask you something, Carl. I... They're not all going to hit. Let me ask you something. I can't do a good John Bernthal impression. Holy hell, minus two. One. <laughs> One bubbling cauldron of Franklin's roiling crimson tonic. Doing Spice Wars. Single player only. Big tech. Dune. Dune. Dune, Dune, Dune. E, E, E. It's not science fiction. Single player only, not science fiction. Easy. The Evil Within 2. Eh? It's going to be third person only. From 1992 to 2017. Going to be a little game by the name of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Came out. It's older because it was not on PS4 or Xbox One, but it's not as old as the Amiga. And it was probably on the PC. Or it could be, I was going to say super new, but that's not the case. In the 360 era, it's simple. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Oh, uh, 2002. Okay, okay. And it was on some of these consoles. It's not a tactical shooter. There are action and possibly stealth elements, though. How about Sly Cooper, motherfucker? Do you speak it? Oh! <laughs> Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I do it if you put me back in 0102. This shit ain't going down the way it did in the timeline that we're living in, okay? That's all I'm saying. For some of us, we never left, bro. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. What were you doing back in 01? Playing NHL 02, mostly. I was actually in 03, Andy, I have to admit. I believe 03 was Jerome Aginla on the cover. And uh, the, the title song that played during the montage, if you didn't press the start button. Spin it back a whoa. Are you listening? Are you listening? You know what I'm talking about? Jimmy Eat World? I'm waiting for the sequel. Fucking Jimmy shit the world out, pl please. Spell check. Maybe it'll work. Select all squares with bicycles. Is, a, is one eighth of a handlebar a bicycle? I'm going to say yes. Oh, they hit me with another one. Please try again. Okay, now the computer is giving me a CAPTCHA. Apparently the computer is saying your CAPTCHA was not good enough. Okay, select all images with stairs. There's stairs in that. I don't know if you see them, but there's stairs in that one. Verify. Please try again? They actually think I'm a computer, bro. Select all images with buses. I'm in. It took me three captures, bro. Literally, Google AI is like, I think you're a computer. How would you know? You don't even know you're a computer, idiot. Integrity. A noun meaning firm. Estimate, a verb meaning to judge. So true. Bowie, a biographical name meaning James 1796. Yep. When I think of Bowie, that's the first thing I think of. Same. A adjective. <laughs> okay, are we talking? Are we having a good, did we just have a moment? Inside, a noun meaning an in. Parley, a verb meaning to speak with another. Inerrancy, a noun meaning exemption from error, infallibility. Holy, inerrancy? Nausea, a noun Heartburn, meaning a stomach disorder. indigestion, upset stomach diarrhea. Laborious, a adjective meaning involved. My favorite word. Plating. A noun meaning the interlacing of What? <coughs> Thought it was going to be like armor plating. Abalones. A noun meaning... A noun meaning seafood that costs $9 per unit, but only tastes like it should cost $3.12 per unit. 
anent, a preposition meaning about, concerning. Anent originates from Middle English unevent. Easy. I use it all the time. Bodrun, a noun meaning a shallow handheld Irish drum. Bodrun is an Irish Gaelic word for a type of frame drum used in traditional music. Bod I think you might want to check your, your dictionary on that one. I think we got it. Quasimodo, a noun meaning the Sunday following Easter. <laughs> really? I thought it was the dude who was ringing the damn bell. Bibolo, a noun meaning a small household ornament or decorative object. You got me. A oh, bibolo, okay. Bod- oh, Dude! That's actually the most heartbreaking spell check loss I've ever gotten because I was on a fucking limb putting the H in there. I just put it in the wrong spot. Plating. Okay, fair enough. Motherfucker put the silent H in the wrong spot. That should be a half point. Me going up to talk to the teacher after I got the question wrong, but if you read it in the least charitable way possible, you can see how like there was a, a sliver of rightness in my answer. I know you gave me a zero, but wouldn't you say I'm like actually like 12% right, which for me should be worth like a half mark in my opinion. It's a damn sausage roll, bro. It's a sausage roll from the nation of the United Kingdom. Battered sausage. <laughs> my shit in the summer vacation in 10th grade because I didn't have a job. You know what I'm saying, Prezzo? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at for an opportunity to say hi, and that just seemed like a good one. Why are you being mean? It's not mean. I assume that we were all beating our shit like 4X daily during summer vacation if we were unemployed. We didn't have anything else to do. Yep. <laughs> oh no, just saw the Slay the Spire 2 pictures. It still looks like ass. It's such a chore to be alive in 2024. 1995, game comes out, or the game is announced. People don't even have a chance to get hyped until two years later, a screenshot shows up in a magazine and then people go, oh, that looks pretty good. And then it comes out and it takes like five years for any kind of critical consensus on whether or not it's good or not to be calcified. Then like 10 years ago, game gets announced. Everybody loves it. Uh, until it comes out and then everybody hates it until the sequel comes out and then everybody loves the original and nobody likes the sequel So that's that's a classic for sure nowadays. We just skip that whole middle part and uh, Game didn't exist. Oh, I hope they make it. They're making it. It looks like shit It comes out that came out. I didn't even see a commercial or any I had no idea it came out guy, guy who has 17 different ad blockers and never leaves his house what the marketers for this really screwed up I didn't even know that it existed if Disney Plus wanted me to watch Shogun they should have spent some money on advertising what the fuck are you talking about man turn on your TV I literally only found out this show existed. Guy who lives in the Unabomber's cabin in the woods voice. I literally just found out this show existed and it's ending tonight. What a big marketing fail. Can you, can anybody say marketing fail? Goofy when he takes himself too seriously. Listen, I'll be the first to say gorsh, but Okay, Balatro, Balatro, baby. Reroll for Cavendish. Don't even worry, but don't don't you worry, your pretty tiger head. We're gonna get you home to Tyson and your cozy tiger bed. Then we're gonna find our best friend Doug, and then we're gonna give him a best friend hug. Very timely reference, King. Oh, we don't like the Hangover One now. We never did. Uh, actually, it's the highest-grossing R-rated comedy of all time. Was? What is it now? Joker? Joker's not a comedy. It's Deadpool now. Oh. I'm not even... And, and I mean this... This is not going to get me a lot of uh, plus twos, I'll admit it. Deadpool is easy to make fun of. But is actually fine. 
I don't know what you want me to say. I, I can't speak for Deadpool 3 because it's not out yet. If anything, it's a testament to Deadpool, the movies being good, that they have like the most cringeworthy concept of all time, but it totally works. Now, are they my favorite pictures ever released? No, I'd have to say um, the one where the rocket hits that lady in the face, but the lady is the moon. And then the one where the dude sneezes and then the one where the train uh, like comes straight at the screen. And then probably Spider-Man 2, in that order. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Have you seen Chris Hansen, but he's hungry? I don't even know how to parse the... The scent, I don't even know how to answer the question. Have you seen Chris Hansen, but he's hungry? <laughs> Have you seen, it's a video. It's the funniest video ever. Are you telling me it's funnier than Not Today, Motherfucker? Because that one is a, is a classic, man. What happens next is one of the most harrowing things we've captured on camera so far. Hello? I brought pizza. How about I take a slice? Why don't you have a seat for me? Who are you? Well, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Oh, no. I sure could use a slice of that pizza. Oh, I knew it. It looks like you weren't expecting such a hungry guy. It looks like you were expecting a 13-year-old boy. Oh, man, I should have stayed home, man. Let me get a slice of that pizza. Look, I've never done this before, okay? I know I should have stayed home, man. Oh. Is that sausage or pepperoni? <sighs> My hungry ass will eat just about anything. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I, I, I'm sick. Like, I'm sick. And I just lost my job. Like, I hungry, hungry pizza for me. Give me slice now. Like, I, I wasn't even going to do anything. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what I was doing. I tell you what, I'd let this whole thing go for a slice of that pizza. Like, what happens now? Like, do I, am I going to go to jail? Like... What do I do? Well, Michael, what exactly did you think was gonna happen here tonight? I'm not hungry. I don't take a slice. Ah, oh, fuck. I never got that slice. The police arrived moments later and the would-be predator was killed. I'd say it's on par. On par with not today, motherfucker, huh? That's a big, that, those, are, those are big words. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Those are big words, fucker. What role would you have on a movie set? I think you'd be a good location manager. Okay, let me think about that one for a second. Um, mm, star? Star would be my first guess. If not star, director. I really feel like maybe, I'm, there's no maybe involved. I'm actually like completely ignorant to Hollywood, completely. Um, but it seems like being a casting director is the easiest job of all time. You don't even do the acting. You just sit at a table and judge people. And then you go, hmm, yeah, yeah, after a thousand auditions, who are we gonna put in our fucking shitty AI generated movie? Hmm, Chris Pratt, yeah, yeah, yeah. And no disrespect, they have like, they always have like a, the, the designation after their name, like a doctor. Like when I go to my dermatologist, it's like, you know, doctor whatever, MD. What is, why does a casting agent have the, the Descriptor. Would they go to fucking the Harvard of casting Ryan Reynolds in self-aware wink nod movies that break the fourth wall? Like, just doesn't seem right to me, man. It just is. I mean, I guess I'm disrespecting the casting directors. I'm just. I. I, I personally, I don't buy it. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm just tired of Ryan Reynolds. I hear you, and I'm gonna say something. I don't really care if this offends people. I got nothing against them on a personal. I'm. T I'm tired of Ryan Reynolds too. And it, he seems like a perfectly affable gentleman. I'm not trying to, you know, ruin his life or whatever. What I will say is, as well, I'm kind of tired of, of Ryan Gosling, too. And I, I, he's been in some great stuff, but I'm just, I don't know. Now I'm at the point almost where, like, every time I see Ryan Gosling, I'm kind of like, this bloke again. It's not jealousy, it's just like, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm just kind of sick of him, I guess. <laughs> Fastest plus two to minus two ever. I don't even know really where it came from. I think it's like, you know, I think it's because I've seen two movies in theaters in the past six weeks for the first time since 2019. And both times they played the 
four and a half minute long trailer for, um, oh, what is it called? The movie where he's the stunt man, but then he has to become the fucking actor. And they had the fall guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Emily Blunt doesn't want anything to do with him, but somehow in the trailer, they're like making out and like banging and stuff like that. And then like also, he's in The Gray Man. I watched The Gray Man and I was like, he's this, I'm just not, I feel like as an actor, he's like, okay, but the roles are going like, like up and down. Ryan Reynolds, I, I find more annoying than Ryan Gosling for sure, because Ryan Reynolds doesn't have a single uh, Blade Runner 2049 in his catalog. I mean, I guess as long as I'm like making enemies, <laughs> sorry, or La La Land, that's true. As long as I'm making enemies, I feel like Ryan Reynolds is kind of like the Canadian version of The Rock. Like, as soon as I, I see him in a movie, I'm like, I just, there's just no chance, right? There's no chance this is going to be great. It might be okay, but there's no chance it's going to be great. There's a 0% chance. Also, I think Ryan, no disrespect again to Ryan Reynolds. He's a Vancouver hero. Two things to disrespect him, I guess. First off, every time he gives an interview, an interview about his favorite Vancouver restaurant, he always mentions Minerva. I've been there. Listen, it's your favorite Vancouver restaurant. Me, my personal two cents is that you're putting on airs. The restaurant's fine. It might even be good to great, but best Van, best restaurant in Vancouver. That's insane. Also, it it's that like in all the movies, he's kind of like wink nodding at the camera. But then also like in every advertisement for Freedom Mobile and Aviation Gin. He also wink nods at the camera, like like literally everything that he does is self-aware and you're just like, I get it. I get it, you're you, man. Stop jimming the camera. So true, shout out to John Krasinski. I'm getting, a, a, my, my producer in my earpiece is saying, under no circumstances are we sure. We're, we're shouting out John Krasinski for being so iconic as Jim Halbert that when you say stop jimming the camera, everybody knows what you're talking about. I should have stuck with the hanged man on this one, but alas, we're moving on. What's up? I would rather you didn't on camera. Are you getting, just the, the way that we, I, I was just talking about this earlier in the stream. My mid-year resolution, I no longer want to use the stream to vent about people IRL for a couple of reasons. One is that I think it's a little, it's unfair to the person that's getting vented upon to have like a, a slight social situation then pushed out to like 13,000 people. And the other one is that, you know, as much as I get annoyed by our daycare provider from time to time, we're on a team. We're, we're both, you know, in the in the business of raising our daughter. Is that, is that, is that why you talked about my sister's dishwasher? Well, that's, I, I specifically referenced that when I said that was, like, I don't want to do that anymore. Oh. After that's growing out, up. After you have vented out, now that you have light shoulders. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was eight days ago. <laughs> my wife's in my ear saying people can't change for the better. This is, this is a bad influence, man. She caught you? I, she didn't catch me. I, I started the bit by saying, I'll acknowledge that I'm the person who does this the most. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the photo of the big ball dude? I did see the photo of the... I went to bed at about 10.45 last night. I woke up this morning at 5.47 a.m. First thing I saw on Discord, my wife sent me a photo of a man with insanely large testicles because he got bit by a mosquito. It was sent at like 11.58 p.m. last night. And I was like, what is, what is she doing? Well, how big was the hole? I mean, they were so big, they, were, they had descended to touch the ground. It was... I thought it was the uh, leg. It was not. <laughs> they, were, was... they were large enough that, that the sheer weight of them had, had them swaying to the ground. We wouldn't be able to fit that. What do you mean by no, that? I, I would be able to fit in that. 
Oh, you would be able to fit in that. I see. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I saw, I get the picture. The legendary long balls. It was huge too. I'm just gonna be honest with you. They were the largest balls I've ever seen. And that includes my own, and I had a medical condition. <laughs> he did, he did. You got stung by a mosquito that was infected with parasite. <clears throat> and uh, it got huge, took a back. Me, there, there's no cure for it. me immediately flying to wherever this took place. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, it's a real disease. <laughs> It's called Giganto Balls, okay? And there's dozens of us. It's not fun. Why are you laughing? It's not funny. I wasn't laughing. Millions of people annually suffer from elephant balls. It's called maple syrup urine disease. You know how important is the, the balls to male? Why, why doesn't he cut them? Why doesn't he cut off his testicles? Yeah. Imagine, because it would hurt a, an insane amount. Yeah, but then would you jog around with two huge balls that you can even wear pants? I don't know what I would do in this situation, to be honest with you. But I'll tell you one thing for certain, and you can bet the farm on this: that mosquito is not seeing tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll be, I'll interrogate as many mosquitoes as I gotta interrogate to find the one who gave me that shit. I'd be like, listen here. Oh, no, I'll never talk. I'll never talk. <laughs> Make it drink like some really fucked up blood, like from someone whose blood sugar is all over the place. <clears throat> Had enough yet, motherfucker? Had enough? Okay, okay. He's in the swamp. Would you cut him off? Would I cut it? Would I surgically remove my testicles if a mosquito that was infected with a parasite bit them and it swole up to the size of a basketball? I'd go to the doctor for sure. No Step one, I'd go to. I'd ask the doctor for their opinion on it. I definitely wouldn't just get out like a pair of scissors or something. I think I would cut them off. Mine? No, if I had one. Oh, okay. And maybe yours. <laughs> Yay! That'd be a, what if you showed up to, <laughs> to your vasectomy with a prosthetic scrotum with like a beach ball inside of it? And you're like, you're the doctor's like, okay, are you ready for the procedure? And then you like pull up your surgical gown and it's like a, <laughs> a boulder. What do you think he would do? I think he would remove those balls. Yeah, but it would be like a beach ball. He would be like, what? <laughs> He'd be like, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? You know, um, Honkai Star Rail released a new character preview. Mm, okay. And then there's like a copy pasta. And then it was like, it was basically about dry sucking. Dry sucking? Yeah. What is dry sucking? I don't know, but it's like, oh my god, he's so hot. I would. Marry him and dry suck him and do this and do that and put it with copy and paste. It's not dry suck. It's suck him dry. Oh, it's suck him dry. A dry suck is like, that doesn't sound like, that sounds like something you get after you get your wisdom teeth out. What's the, wait, what's the other one? Suck him dry? Yeah. You got like no blood in him or something? <laughs> You're close. <laughs> <clears throat> so you, when it comes to the word suck, you could think of vampires. I wouldn't dispute that. Um, there's other parts of the body you could suck as well. And then you would suck that dry? Until there was nothing left in the tank. Because uh, the tank... Is that why the blue balls were so huge? He might need... He had, he, 
he might need to get on Honkai Star Rail for all I know. Anyway, she's got to empty something. The tank is full. That That's indisputable. What kind of game is Honkai Star Rail? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. She's going to say bad stuff. I, didn't, I wasn't going to say bad stuff. I was going to say it's the kind of game that has your wife sending you pictures of a man with elephant balls. That is said, not true. An hour and a half, af related. An hour and a half after I already went to bed. Those are not related. It's, um... It's it's like Slay the Spire meets um, Las Vegas, I think. She's like she's mad because it's she can't disagree. I was out. She wasn't <laughs> listening. I, what the heck? That planet was called Penis. It's Venus. Oh, v Venus. It's. <laughs> you can't make this up. <laughs> Dude, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> She got me. <laughs> I can't even remember what she said when she came down the first. Oh, just she wanted to vent about the daycare. That's fair. I look forward to hearing about it. I mean, I just, you know. You know what happens sometimes, though. Some, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going back on my resolution, okay? But so, like, my wife does the daycare drop off, and I do the daycare pickup. So what happens to me a lot of the time is that the daycare provider backseats my wife at the drop-off. And then in the afternoon when my stream is done, my wife vents to me about getting backseated by the daycare. And then three hours later when I pick up my daughter from the daycare, I get exactly the same backseating from the daycare that my wife got in the morning. I'm not saying I have it worse. I'm just saying I do tank a lot of <laughs> psychic damage. <laughs> and then you deal with chat. Well, it's true. And it's been a little ornery lately because literally, I mean, like this morning, I was, then this has been going on for weeks. I'm sure other parents can relate. Sorry, Sock and Buskin, you just don't fit in here. You just weren't made for these times. But, um, you know, I, I do a lot of like daddy daughter stuff giving her baths, getting her dressed, taking her to the potty, you know, feeding her. So this morning I was trying to get her dressed and then I was like, I have to wipe you because she still wears a diaper to bed so she doesn't wet her bed. And she's like, I'm not gonna let you wipe me. And I'm like, why? And then she's like, cause you're my enemy. And I was like, what are you talking about? Are we really gonna, it's like 8.03 in the morning. We're gonna start off on that foot today. I'm not allowed to do stuff for you that's where it it gets crazy i'm not allowed to do stuff for you because i'm your enemy i would love it if you gave you gave yourself a bath if you wiped your own everything if you cooked your own breakfast if you cooked packed your own lunch if you cooked your own dinner blah 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 but i'm like i so now i gotta do the thing for you and while I'm doing it, you're like, don't do it. You're my enemy. And I'm like, what are we talking about here? I'm your dad, Buzz. Then on the nights when mommy puts her to bed, right before bedtime, everybody's gangster till the lights go out. That's all I'm going to say. Daddy's my enemy. I don't like daddy. Mommy, here's a flower. Daddy, here's some poo-poo. Daddy's my enemy. I love mommy more than daddy. I don't like you anymore. Okay, good night, honey. Three seconds later, daddy! I want daddy! Daddy! I can't go to sleep until... And then... Listen, we don't need to get into it, okay? I do like... Or rather, I should say, I don't mind being the parent that speaks honestly. Because I feel like so much parental content out there... People are not gonna like... People with kids are gonna plus two this, and people without kids are gonna be fucking pissed off and troubled. All the parental content on social media is always like you can never try to adjust your kids behavior if your kids doing something bad it's your fault and you can't ever punish them because it'll give them trauma that they'll never get over because they'll never have agency even when they're like middle aged it's just going to affect them for life we need some parental content that's like sometimes your kids just being a little fucking asshole what you should do is give them a cup of juice and look at your phone for 15 minutes 
Because you got to fucking live your life too. Don't get, I'm making sacrifices for our child. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, there's times where, you know, I'm trying to get her dressed and she's like, I don't want to put pants on. I want to just wear my diaper. And I'm like, okay, maybe diaper and a dress. And she's like, no dress. Shirt that I grew out of six months ago. And I'm like, okay, I'll see you in 10 minutes. I'm going downstairs. And then all of a sudden it's daddy, daddy, come here, daddy, I want to play. I'm not playing that game for two hours a night. I'll play it with you for 10 minutes and then you gotta, you gotta reach a compromise or I'm just, I'm out for a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I know I'm venting, okay? I'm just saying, I, I feel like there's, it's good to have some realistic depictions of parenthood. Because all the ones, and this is how you know social media is, it's like this for everything, right? You, when you see the photo of someone on Instagram and they're at the beach with like a drink in their hand, you don't see their credit card balance. You don't see how they almost got into like a car accident on the way to the beach and they got into a fight in the Uber or something like that. You just see the beautiful sun and the bikini photos and whatever. The, the parenting stuff on social media is crazy because it'll actually have you think, like your kid will say something like, I hate you. And as the parent, you're like, Hmm, what's the most equitable way to resolve this situation? And I'm like, don't say that, that hurts my feelings. And then she's like, I don't care. And then I'm like, okay, I'm eating the ham sandwich downstairs. I'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> I'm a person too, it's not all about you. Gene, Gene Wilder, who's that? Is he the guy from Kiss? Negative steel card joker? Yeah, sure, I suppose. My advice on this challenge, I'd say it's pretty simple. Um, it's hard to defend against uh, getting insanely lucky. Like, just watch this. They don't want you to have clips. They don't want you to have clips. They don't want you to take new tropics. Rolling. They don't want you to mouth tape. <laughs> Forces one card to always be selected. Not even sweating, can I tell you why? We'll just use this moon card to turn it into a club, bro. If it's not a club already. Or you could discard it. Okay, we both brought up two viable solutions. Why did you say it condescendingly? Bull 07. Nah, honestly, you guys are haters. I dance with the one who brought me. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't have. Well, well, well. Looks like I own you, little bro. You ever consider just getting a random polychrome version of the best Joker in the game? And then also a negative version of like maybe the eighth the best Joker in the game? What a sad story. Shouldn't you have made a steel card for the steel Joker? Shouldn't you be working in like a wastewater treatment plant in Frankfurt or something like that? You're wasting your talents, bro. 117 million IQ, bro said my hyperfixation is backseating streamers on Twitch. Go work for NASA, man. We need you. You're wasting your, a man of your talents. It's a simple life. NASA doesn't pay. Okay, fucking go work for Blue Horizons then, okay? I'm just saying. I don't want to be put on to Mars, but if you could w put somebody on the Mars and I could watch it on TV, that would be sick. I would be like inspired, but I would probably cry. Wake up, honey. I was going to say new detective sim just dropped, but that's not the case. Shadows of Doubt entered 1.0 earlier within the trailing 12 months. We played it. I recall playing it. I recall 
the putting the push pins with the clues on the board and drawing the context between them and writing notes and then like trying to break into an apartment building but then like falling out of the vent and breaking both of my legs and getting shot to death. Um, we're gonna try to be a little bit better this time. I do have to start by saying this is a sponsored stream. Hey, have you experienced any crimes lately? In this city, good joke. Though I did see someone acting odd. Okay. They had long black hair hair. I saw them today at Macon Street around 6.15 p.m. Okay. Do you know this person? I am arresting you on suspicion of murder. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about the other person. Never mind. Um, got any spare change? Sure, anything to help. It's that easy. <laughs> yes! Little life hack at the end of every conversation. Hey, got any spare change? Case board. Work available for a discreet individual. Business-related concerns require investigation. Significant fee available for the right person. I gotta be honest, I'm, I think I'm the wrong person for the job there. Discreet individual, photography skills required, call 838-2040. I might be able to take some pictures. The mark's name is Ku Ching Gao. Deliver it under the door at 601 Gomez House. I'm getting there's a freaking Adams family's hiring me? Job information updated. They're, they live at Gomez House as well. You need a picture of someone who lives in the same apartment building as you? Bro wants a picture of his neighbor. <laughs> or maybe he wants a picture of himself. Gomez House. Gomez House. Gomez House ground floor lobby. I'm in. Who are you? Unknown citizen. Link to photo and voice. This is the person who called me. Evening, what's your name? I'm not telling you. Do you know this person? Sorry, that's personal. Yeah, obviously. Hey, where, but there was another person that just left the building as well. I need to speak to them. Unknown citizen, new information, link to photo voice. Evening, what's your name? Nothing to do with you? Could you provide your fingerprints? No, no, no. You know what? We'll just break into their apartments. I'm not even worried about it. I just need your photo, man. It's not that serious. I don't have to start throwing fisticuffs. Someone's going to tell me their name. What's your name? None of your business, okay? You know what? I don't, I don't care about striking out. We try. What's your name? Keep your nose out of my business. Okay, hang on. It's supposed to be the gentleman district, bro. What's your name? Keep your nose out of my... Okay, you know what? I'm breaking, into, I'm breaking into every single one of your apartments. First, we go down into the basement. We're going to cause the boiler to overflow, and then they're all going to evacuate, and that is going to give us... Stinky... <laughs> That is going to give us the cover we need. I have <laughs> fell through the earth. <laughs> and I'm stinky. Now I gotta go back to Gomez's house, bro. I'm just gonna take a, a stab at this one. Will you be mad if I just take your photo? Just put that down. It's a camera. I'm being pursued. Whoa! There's no need for all that, man! Okay, 604. Well, well, well. The Gomez house, huh? Just knock and snap a pic when he opens. Somebody's coming to answer the door. Bro, I think I freaking violated her. I didn't know she would be in her underpants. Put it, put it away, bro. Put it away. What is it? Hey, what's your name? I'm Gucci. Oh, what's it? You're a genius. <laughs> Goodbye. Ciao. Only polite person in this whole place. 
Okay, so this guy's a freaking perv. Maybe we should just open the door and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Sorry for the foul language. <laughs> Hello? What do you got there? You perv. You pervert. You sicko. Push him down the stairs. Talk to. Hey, what's your name? None of your business? Literally, you hired me. So whatever. Okay, 601. Post findings under the door. Right here. Oh! The first successful Shadows of Doubt mission in history. Okay. Now that that, that case is processing, fantastic. Take a photo. $400 for us. It only took me a couple of bullets. Solved. I've never seen this screen before. My two cents, we just do one more photography mission, the farm, like this one. Isn't, isn't it, I, I thought this was our $800 option. Reward of $800, I accept. 8124297. Acquire a camera, has been done. It's our job listing. Rose building. Not the rose building. Is that where we had all the, all the rigmarole last time? I can't do it again. <laughs> 701. It's locked. I'm put, I'm, who, who's, it's illegal to take photographs now? All right, Fedora. Name on the package. You guys are actually like genius detectives. Hello. What's your name, officer? I'm Octavia Upshaw. What's it to you? Have a good night. There's no way this plan can fail, man. Everyone here is so friendly. Dude was in his house in uniform. There was some dark stuff going on in there. I don't want to belabor the point with him. What the heck is going on in here, Mr. Mime? What's your name? Nothing to do with you? Congrats. Take one of those. And then we out here. <laughs> just chill, just chill. Hey, where'd you go? Tee hee. Where's 703? 70, it's right, what, 701? 701, 702, 703, right there. What's your name? None of your business. Whoops. <laughs> now you're going to say, hey, NL, you're missing a step. You can't put two photos under the door. Well, what I do now, now that I got photos of both of them, I break into the apartment, find a piece of mail, and then slip the appropriate one under the, under the door. Now, how am I going to break into the apartment? You ever hear of something called an air vent? Just got to keep your wits about you, okay? Please don't do this again. <laughs> I, how could I be lost? I can only go in the direction the vents take me, man. What the heck? Ah! What floor is this, bro? What? Now we're talking, bro. All right. I'm, I'm disoriented. I'm trapped in the damn shower. Okay, everybody chill, everybody chill. We're gonna find some stuff in here. A paper clip with a note that says, LH, remember your passcode this time. 
A575. Might as well rob him. He was rude to me in the first place. It's important, you're right. When it's important, we pin this. Just get out. You don't know. You don't know what you're talking about, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, first name, initial H. First name, initial. You're right. First name, initial H. <laughs> we could still rob him, though. We could still. Yeah, you're not wrong. We could still. A575. We could still rob him. A gun? I guess I'll drop, drop my battery and pick up the gun. Slide it under the door. Case submitted for processing. Please wait for results. The case remains unsolved. You took a photo of their spouse instead. Do I get penalized for that? Hang on. Oh, brother. <laughs> I think she's sleeping and her, her boy toy came to the door. This time it's over for you. Not a doubt in my mind, bro. Not a doubt in my mind. <laughs> Resolve, select. Select from my board. This bad boy right here, right? Can I take a peek at this briefly? No, that's the one, that's the one. That's the one. Select it. Plot route the hand in, please. Go, go, go! Hang on. I'm sick of being pushed around. Police! 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 Octavia, I'm being I'm being harangued. I'm being harangued by an angry no do-gooder. Watch this. You want to see the perfect fucking crime? Well, she's gone. Elevator controls. Number seven. Hope you locked your door. Ah! Everyone chill, okay? I think she's gone crazy. She just keeps repeating that. I just need to see if there's another person in here. Because I need to know if it's if it's just her, bro. She's throwing fists. Octavia! Octavia! She knows. She knows it's not a gun.
Run, run, run. <coughs> Pardon me. You have a gun? I don't know how to use it, man. Look, why, why is he holding it like this? She's winded. Was that so hard? This one's for you. Why, 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 why not? Why not, bro? You need to pick the picture? I, I picked the picture. Cancel pick. Select. It's this one right here. They won't let me do it, bro. They're, they're, what are you doing in there, you piece? <laughs> Select the new one instead? I didn't pin it. All I got is this decroted one that doesn't work. <laughs> they hate me. They hate me. Close case. All right, let's get to solving this murder then. <laughs> you know in your heart of hearts that we solved that, okay? I didn't beat her to death. She's unconscious. Again, they're two different things. And she was rude to me. When admittedly she had the right to be rude to me. But me personally, I took, I took umbrage with that. Maybe we should get some snacks on the way. You got some food for me? What? Just chill, okay? Just chill. <laughs> I'm, they hate me, bro. They hate me for, for being hungry. You killed a man? I tried to teach a man to fish, bro. So that he would never be hungry again. Explore reported crime scene. You know what? Just for you. Just for you, I'll get to work on this murder case. There's nothing the police love more than when uh, a private citizen gets involved in a murder case. I don't know if you've ever seen a true crime documentary. It's always helpful. They always say thank you. Excuse me, madam. Could you direct me to the murder? I know you. You're Octavia. Can I not speak to you? you want, you're, not, you're not allowed to speak. We're not, we're not on speaking terms anymore. All right. I'm in. You're going to kill me on the murder scene? Brother, I'm literally... Okay, you forced my hand. You forced my hand. Deserved, deserved. Okay, okay. That's all. I didn't, I didn't have any problem with you. Until that moment. Please tell me. That we got Delta Enforcer Division's Johannes Young Enforcer. He's got a Lazarus 5 semi-automatic pistol. Look at that. We, we got a key. We got his... We got, he's an organ donor. That's going to come in handy. He lives in Novak House. It's... Brother, it all comes back to Novak House. They're going to think I'm the murderer now, which is the worst part. In order to find the murderer, I might have to kill everybody that walks into this room. Literally no. Okay, brother, I don't want to do this. Just to be clear. You're forcing my hand. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. He shot at me man it's literally i don't even know how to like you're mad at me it's self-defense i trespassed he tried to shoot me in the head no jury in the land would convict me we use proportionate force to defend ourselves i mean no jury in the land would convict me <gasps> wow A lich.
Okay. Well, I know what I have to do. I mean, honestly, wait, what happened to my freaking... You can just talk to him? That's the... He wouldn't talk to me in the first place. That's what started this whole thing. You seen anything unusual? Nothing. Oh, really? What about the murder? None of your business. You gave him amnesia? None of your business. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. Don't worry about all that. <laughs> all right, now we can finally get some freaking work done, bro. Dear Elliot, I got your note. Sorry, but I can't hand over surveillance footage to anyone who asks. I ain't seen no tall female stalking around, though. If you got any real concerns, put in a Form 59.3D to my office. Oh, perhaps some footage from the building might come in handy. Password? Diary. Wednesday, outside Pickett Heights for three blocks. Large, tall, long. Definitely same person. Tuesday, nothing. Monday, outside works work for two blocks. Large, young adult, I think. They should be, there should be a detective who is uh, a Twitch chatter. Or like not a chatter, a Twitch streamer. So they stream like them solving the murder POV and then they like get suggestions from chat. Hey, have you tried calling the husband? Yeah, I called the husband, bro. It's the first person we called. Okay, hang on. We got a quick telephone call. Identified. I would like to call the last person who called me. An enforcer dispatch unit will be sent to your location immediately. Don't. All right. Um, let's go fast. His OPSEC is out of control. You know what? There's no other option. I know what we got to do. We got to go to his office, bro. The office is here. <laughs> Give me some info, bro. Crimson Corp was on the eighth floor. What? It says it's, uh, well, how do you know that? Okay, Crimson Corp on the 8th floor. Please use the elevator. I'm actually faster on the stairs is, is one of the things that's great. Wait, wait, isn't this my security camera room? Hang on a second. Wow! <laughs> Woo, nice try! Alright, now you made it in. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm no longer dying of thirst. <laughs> Lock it, please. Lock the door. Please don't tell me I turned it off and now I need the password. Oh no, I mean, management admin. Select user management, oh brother. <laughs> Hello, Crimson Corporation? Hello? Ah, yes, the public bathrooms. 
Mm, and what nice ventilation they have. Another dice, huh? Oh, a note to all employees. The door code to my office has been reset to 5474. The architect and the builder arrive calmly with a sense of purpose. 5474, you ready? Ooh. Hold. We're in the back rooms, bro. And then you know that dude was not remembering every password. Oh! Yeah, yeah. I, uh, try, he, he's not going to be using it. <laughs> so I think, I think we will be taking his diamond, actually. I don't know why I'm so fixated on just robbing the dude, but... Dude, somehow... I, I'm not trying to say that he screwed up his life, but he is dead. Um, bro literally works from home and still has a commute. How do you mess up that bad? Like, that's just... That's nutty, bro. Check out your V-mail. Hello? Wasn't me, receiver rel noun. You should lay off the starch, it makes you jumpy. Did you come by my apartment earlier? Hi Marjani, I'm just gonna lay it out. Yeah, I saw we matched on V-Love last night. Yes, I think it's a cruncher error. Let's just never mention this again, shall we? The images in particular. Marjani, okay, Marjani, Marjani. Can I see your profile real quick? Ooh, I got 21 out of 23 on this dude. Literally, his password stored in plain text, bro. You know I'm going to leave your shit logged in, too. How do you feel about that? You got a light switch in this? You got a light switch in here? Check the employee database. Oh, motherfucker. Dude. What? What's your problem? Oh, my God. Okay, they're taking... Just relax. Just go to security. Off, bro. Jeez. Oh, you gotta cycle the area. Oh, cause I'm in the I'm in the back rooms. I need to speak to Marjani. Marjani? Marjani? That's it, you piece. I'm putting the whole system on trial. 904 Gomez House, 1553157. I don't remember your number. That might be prank calling somebody here. One second. <laughs> How do you answer for your crimes? How convenient. They're not home. Yeah, I wouldn't answer the phone either if I just killed somebody. Bro called the murderer from the victim's house. You gotta imagine, that would really like mess her up a little bit though. Oh. <laughs> Literally mind your own business, Nadia. She's not guilty. That fucks up my whole case, man. I really need her to be guilty. <laughs> it's okay, you can still frame her. Hello, I'd like to speak to you. Oh! So I'm gonna wait for her to go back in. And then once the door is closed, I'm gonna knock and be like, hello, can I speak to you? Hello. Marjani Okoro. Huh, what's your name? I'm not telling you that. Oh, really? Nice try, Marjani. Have you seen anything unusual? Think I'd tell you if I had? Okay, Marjani. You know this person? Elliot Zhu? 
Yeah, that's my colleague, Elliot Zhu. He's actually your boss. Hey, they work at that place, Crimson Corporation. Hey, what about what 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 about that time that you um, matched? What about that time that you matched on V Love? Could you provide your fingerprints for an investigation? Not a chance. All right, you're arrested. You're being arrested for murder. Yeah, right. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break into your house. And I'm going to get a knife out of your... It's one floor up. I'm going to get a knife out of your kitchen. I'm going to render you unconscious with it. And then I'm going to plant your blood on the scene of the crime. Head of HR. Your colleague? He's your boss. Show some respect. Okay, now we got time. To the jerk, he keeps standing outside my door, messing with my mail. Cut it out or I'll call the enforcers. This note was also at Elliot's place, bro. The dude that you was hanging with. She must have Xeroxed it and put it up on her own pin board. You just killed her? She's a murderer. Spare me. Please help. Dear Marjani, thank you for your note. You may be suffering from mild paranoia. Uh-oh. Uh, with hair. <laughs> A secret admirer? I've, be, I'm, I've been stalked. You have a match. It's Elliot. All right, well, honestly, I, I hate to say it. I think she's innocent, bro. Killer's a bald male in his 30s with glasses. I'm in your walls. I could literally do whatever I want. She's the next victim? Well, it sounds like she should help me find the freaking killer, bro. You stole her key? Yeah. I basically, I, I, I not only purloined it, but it basically it kind of gaslit her as well. Because I'm sure that she's going to be like, my key was right here. And then when she brings it up to me, I'm going to be like, you've been losing a lot of stuff lately. Whoops. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want some? GTA gameplay when I was 12. Dude, the, the Tom Scott GTA 4 playthrough with the traffic speed cranked up to 1,000% is so funny. Another murder at the same house? <laughs> Sorry, Tom Walker, not Tom Scott. Thank you, thank you. Have you got caught up with Will this be a Carlos cutscene? Don't worry about me. Sorry. <laughs> Locked? Brother, I have the key. I have the key. Oh, I can just do it. Collect a case resolution form from City Hall. Uh-oh! Brother, the murderer is still here. I knew it. Nice try. Nice try. You're under arrest. Oh! Two murderers?
One for one. One for one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I traded. He's one tapped. He's one tapped. Rush him. Rush him. Grab his, grab his self revive. Okay, this has been Shadows of Doubt. I had a, I had a great time. I think we, we did better this time, honestly. We did better. I'm going to slash marker it. Shadows of Doubt. And I will send you over to my wife's stream. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your evening. I think I will play Shadows of Doubt again. I want to solve a case for real. And not just with a creep shot like we did the, in the first one today. Again, shadows of doubt, exclamation point, shadows. I'll give you a link. You can check it out on Steam. Consoles later this year. New update just came out today. There ain't nothing like it. I'll see you next time. 20 bar you rest. can't read really quickly, did you say? 20 bar rest, baby. 15 bars, we've only got 13 bars. This song is by Billy Joel. He grabbed the pussy in the 80s cause he was a big superstar. He had lots of albums that sold lots of copies and he didn't start the fire. I don't remember the words, but that's okay. Harry Truman, Doris Day, Red China, Johnny Ray, South Bears, Epic, Winter, Winchell, Joe DiMaggio, Joe McCarthy, Richard Nixon, Studebaker, Television, North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. He didn't start it either. I wish they wouldn't break up the words here. Rosenberg's H bomb, Sugar Ray, Palm and John, Brando, the King, and I, the catch her in the right. Eisenhower vaccine, England's got a new queen, Marciano Liberace, Santayana, goodbye. He didn't start the fire, yeah, it was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Joseph Stalin, Malenkov, Nasser and Brokeviov, Rockefeller, Campanella, Communist Bloc. Ray Cohn, Jump Around, Toscadini, Day Round, Din Bao, Fowls, Rock Around the Clock. Einstein, James Dean, Brooklyn's got a winning team. Davy Crockett, Peter Pan, Elvis Presley, Disneyland, Bardo, Budapest, Alabama, Khrushchev, Princess Grace, Peyton Place, Trouble in the Suez. We didn't start the fire It was always burning since the world's been turning We didn't start the fire No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it Little Rock, Pastor Knack, Mickey Mantle, Kerouac, Sputnik, Chow and Light Bridge on the River Kwai, Lebanon, Charles the Gulf, California Baseball, Stark Weather, Homicide, Children of the Alamite I don't know what... Buddy Holly, Ben Hur, Space Monkey, Mafia, Hula Hoops, Katsu, Etsu is a no go. Ooh, Sing em, Repay, Kennedy, Chubby Checker, Psycho, Belgians in the Congo. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Hemingway, Eichmann, Stranger in a Strange Land, Dylan, Berlin, Bay of Pigs Invasion, Lawrence of Arabia, British Beatlemania, Ole Miss, John Glenn, Liston Beats, Patterson, Pope Paul, Malcolm X, British Politician Sex, JFK, Blown Away, what else do I have to say? We didn't start the fire, it was always burning since the world's been turning, we didn't start the fire, Woo! No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Birth control, Ho Chi Minh, Richard Nixon back again. Moonshot, Woodstock, Watergate, punk rock. Virgin, Reagan, I'm running in the airline. Ayatollahs in Iran, Russians in Afghanistan. Fortune Sally Ride, heavy metal suicide, foreign deaths, homeless vets, AIDS crack, burning gets, hypodermic on the shore, China's under martial law, rock and roller, cola wars, I can't take it anymore. We didn't start the fire, it was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the Tomo, he's been always meowing since he was remowing, and on and on and on. Stop.
the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. We didn't start the fire. Who did? It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Who started the fire? It's an ancient mystery that is foreign to me. We didn't start the fire.